My name is Maria Connor and I'm a Library Research Specialist at Griffith University. A priority for the Griffith University Library Research Team in 2020 was to revamp our research related web pages and lockdown was the perfect opportunity to do this. We decided to start with our bibliometrics pages which were long overdue for a rewrite. The existing pages were long, a little difficult to navigate, and contained a lot of information about what metrics are in the different types, but with little practical information. So the project team started with the question, what information about bibliometrics do researchers really need, and how do we find out while we're in lockdown? So we created an informal questionnaire and sent it to researchers. We didn't ask questions about the pages, but took a value proposition canvas approach, which was developed by Alexander Osterwalder. This approach can be used when an existing product or service needs refining. You look at a specific customer task or tasks and the pains and gains they experience trying to undertake this task. In this case, academics are locating bibliometrics, so we ask questions such as, how do you use bibliometrics? For purposes and which tools do you wish to know more about. We asked about the pains, so what are difficult and annoying things about seeking and using metrics, and we asked about the gains. What's the biggest benefit a researcher can get from using metrics, and what is your tip, top tip for using metrics? It was the end of term, it was lockdown, and we didn't think we'd get much of a response, maybe between 10 and 20 responses. So we were pleasantly surprised a couple of weeks later when we received over 40 responses. We learned that finding and accessing metrics tools and databases was a big pain point for our clients, and that became the main focus of the page. Another pain point was difficulty using the databases. But the gains they received from using metrics were many and broad. Things like monitoring publishing growth as an, from an individual perspective, benchmarking against others in the field, tracking reach and impact, finding potential collaborators and finding out which papers people are reading. The things people actually used bibliometrics for went far beyond grants and promotions, which as librarians is what we just assumed people primarily used them for. But we also heard that people used metrics for career planning, hiring decisions, following international trends in research and figuring out which journals to submit to. Feedback from the questionnaire informed the new web page content. So now the page is less about the hows and whys of metrics and more about finding the right tool for the information researchers are looking for. Our web team created a decision tree as a pain reliever to assist with locating databases for researchers to look for the information they're after. So down here they can select what they want the metrics for such as to compare my outputs against peers worldwide, and the toolbar informs them that Insights and Scopus are good to use for that, along with links to access the database and where to find out more information. We also included information about using metrics responsibly and how to write it up. Uh, the latter came through and the feedback is something people were interested in. This year we'll be focusing on another pain point, and that is how to use the databases. So we'll be adding specific guides, particularly insights, and creating short tutorials as a reminder about how to find commonly used metrics and how to do specific tasks in the databases. The page went live in early October 2020, just as a soft launch. We'll be promoting the page more this year. The library also set up Hotjar to measure traffic to this and other pages. Uh, preliminary data on the website demonstrates that there is interest in the decision tree. It's the area most accessed on the page with over 450 clicks since October 2020. So the value proposition canvas approach helped guide our web page creation during an uncertain time and opened our eyes to the pains and gains researchers experience with bibliometrics.